In 1975, no one in Laos could have imagined the technological advances in communications to come in the next 40 years, and the idea of the nation launching its own satellite would have been in the realms of science fiction. At the foundation of the Lao PDR, even landline telephones were relatively rare and a luxury for the average Lao. But today, smartphones are commonplace even in rural areas. Such has been the march of progress in telecommunications. The launch of the Laos first telecommunications satellite, or Laosat-1, into orbit on November 21st did not only make new history for Laos, but also hit regional and international headlines. Many Lao people are very proud that their country now has its own satellite, given that many countries in the world still do not have their own satellites. Government officials said the launch of the satellite will further contribute to enhance the country's profile in the international arena. According to an AP report recently, there are about 1,100 active satellites, both government and private. Plus, there are about 2,600 old satellites that no longer work. Russia launched the first satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957. The oldest one still in orbit, which is no longer functioning, was launched in 1958. More than 50 countries own a satellite or a significant share in one. There are 502 active satellites with a U.S. tie, 118 for Russia and 116 for China. Many ASEAN member countries now have their own satellites except Cambodia and Myanmar. Nonetheless, the competition for a satellite business is higher in our country because satellites from other ASEAN countries also offer to sell their transmission here. The Laosat-1 is a historic new satellite for Laos which was designed, developed and delivered into orbit by China and blasted off from the Sichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China's Sichuan province. The launch of the satellite also aimed to mark the 40th anniversary of the Lao People's Democratic Republic on December 2nd. The launch of the satellite would contribute to further enhancing relations and the comprehensive strategic partnership between Laos and China. The business operation for Laosat-1 will begin in February next year through a venture between the Lao government and three Chinese developers. A shareholders agreement for the Laosat-1 joint venture company was signed in Vientiane on October 30th between all sides. The Lao government holds a 45% stake in the Laosat-1 joint venture company, while APMT has a 35% shareholding, SSTC has 15%, and APST has a 5% stake. <laughs> Minister of Post and Telecommunications Hiam Pumachan said Laosat-1 would provide 22 transponders for both television and telephone use, but the demand reported from Laos so far was for only two or three transponders. This means that we will have to sell the rest to other countries as well. In addition, television and internet providers and other satellite-related companies will be encouraged to use Laosat-1 as an obligation to assist Laos. The satellite is designed to provide communication links for government work, television transmissions, and a range of telecommunication applications in Laos. The satellite will also be used for other purposes, including education, health, defense, security, and so on. Our country has both opportunities and challenges in the operation of the satellite business, but to fully take advantage of the new technology, we have to develop more applications for its use. 
สําเร็จมัดเป็นว่าลอยสลายมีเครื่องบรรษาครบชุดมัดตามตามระเบียบตามอันนะมาฐานของการบรรษา